this is Jo from Maths Tutor Me. Today we're doing indices and we're raising a power to a power. Before we start on this sheet, let's just have a look at what we've learnt already. At the very beginning of the topic, we learned how to expand things out from index notation. So if we had something like x to the power of 4, we learned that that was x times x times x times x. Okay, so to help explain the rule that we're going to use today, we're going to be simplifying things that look like this. Might have k to the power of 3 in brackets, all squared. That's the power to a power. Now I can expand that like I did the one up here. This squared means that I have two of these in the brackets. I have k to the power of 3 times k to the power of 3. To simplify that, we learned how to multiply things with the same bases. All we have to do is to add the powers together. So that becomes k to the power of 6. Now, when we do these today, we don't want to have to expand them out like this all the time. I just wanted to show you how this works. The shortcut is this. We know our answer here has to be 6 from what I worked out here. The shortcut is if you look here, all I have to do is multiply the 2 times the 3 together and I will get 6 instead of having to expand them. So here is the rule. When raising a power to a power, you multiply the indices. So a to some power, and another power outside the brackets, all I have to do is keep the same base and multiply the powers together. Alright? So, it's much, much simpler than what I was just doing on that paper. If I have a to the power of 3 to the power of 5, a is my base. All I have to do is multiply 3 times 5, is 15. That's it. Let's do it again. In this one, b squared to the power of 6. b is the base. Multiply the powers. 2 times 6 is 12. Done. Now there can be more things in the brackets. This has got two terms in there. I just do each of them separately. So f cubed to the power of 4. f is my base for the first one. 3 times 4 is 12. And my second letter here, G, is the base. 5 times 4 is 20. If there is a big number, I call it a big number because these little powers are little numbers. If there is a big number at the, fr at the front of my prenumeral, I have to do whatever this power is squared. I have to square that number. Okay, don't times it, don't do 3 times 2, I have to do 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, 3 times 3 is 9, and then I can do my pronumeral here. D is the base, times the powers, 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, once you've kind of mastered that, then we can start doing some combinations of some different index laws that we've learnt here. So in question 5, first of all I want to expand these brackets using the power of the power rule. So h is the base times the powers. 7 times 3 is 21. I want to divide that by h is the base again. 4 times 4 is 16. Now when you're dividing indices, you subtract the powers. So h is the base, 21 minus 16 is 5. Alright, question 6. First of all, let's expand the brackets. m is the base, multiply the powers. 9 times 4 times by m is the base, but I have a power of 0 here. Do you remember what something to the power of 0 is? That was the last lesson that we did. If anything is to the power of 0, this whole thing is just equal to 1. 
okay? So I really don't have to multiply or do anything else here. My answer is just m to the power of 36. Question 7. Okay, there's a few big numbers in here that I need to be careful with. So I need to do 4 to the power of 3. Okay, we might need a calculator for that. 4 to the power of 3 equals 64. So 64... J is the base, times the powers, 5 times 3 is 15. Then I want to divide, okay, big number, so I need to do 2 to the power of 3 is 8. J is my base, 2 times 3 is 6. Now I want to divide these two things here. Divide the big numbers first, 64 divided by 8 is 8. J is going to be my base, and when you divide, you subtract the powers. 15 minus 6 is 9. So for our last question here, we have to expand the bracket out first. So let's be careful, we have to do these big numbers first. 4 to the power of 3, we just learned was 64. Then we have to have k as the base, and we times 7 times 3 is 21. On the bottom, we have to do 5 to the power of 3. So 5 to the power of 3 is 125. This time n is the base, and we multiply 2 times 3, which is 6. Now always be on the lookout if you can simplify your fractions. So you want to be checking if 64 and 125 will simplify. If you're not sure, you can always type them in. 64 over 125. And my calculator won't simplify it, so that can't be simplified. Because the letters are different, I have K and N, different letters, they can't be simplified either. So that is the final answer for that question. So on the next page, I have some questions here for you to practice to see if you can remember what we have just learned. So stop the video, have a try of these questions, and then restart the video to go through the answers. Okay, so question one. N is the base, so all you have to do is times 6 times 4 together to get 24, N to the power of 24. Question two. I just have to do each pronumeral here separately. So x is the base times 8 times 5 is 40. Then do y. 3 times 5 is 15. x to the power of 40, y to the power of 15. Question 3. With the large number here at the front, I have to do 4 to the power of 3, which is 64. Z is the base, and 5 times 3 is 15. Question 4, combining a few of our indices skills. First of all, expand the brackets. C is the base, 7 times 2 is 14. Times by, C is the base again, 6 times 3, 3 6 is 18. Then we want to multiply these expressions together. So the base is the same, is C, and then we multiply, we add the powers. So 14 plus 18 is 32. Okay, question 5. 3 to the power of 4. Alright, let's see what that is. 3 to the power of 4 is 81. E is the base. Multiply 6 times 4 is 24. Then I want to divide that by e to the power of 5 times 3 is 15. To divide these, normally we have to divide any big numbers at the front first, but there is only the 81 here, so it's not going to change. 81 will still stay there. The e will come next, and when we divide, we have to subtract the powers. So 24 minus 15 is 9. 
and lucky last. On the top we need to do 3 to the power of 2, which is 9. Our base is P and we have to multiply the power. 8 times 2 is 16. On the base, 4 to the power of 2. 4 times 4 is 16. R is the base and 5 times 2 is 10. Check for simplification, but we can't do anything, so that's your answer. Okay, so I hope you were able to follow along what we were doing today. Join me next time for some more indices. Until then, keep practicing. Bye for now.